This video is going to show you how to re-image a WiseNet Wave NVR, the WRN series recorders. You're going to need the image written to a 8 gigabyte or larger USB drive. That drive should be plugged into the blue USB 3.0 port on the back of the WRN unit. You'll also need a USB keyboard plugged into one of the USB ports and a monitor connected to view the system. From there, you're going to power the unit up and you're going to repeatedly press the F5 key on the keyboard until you get this boot screen. Then select whichever option says USB, HDD or hard drive. The name of your flash drive will vary. When you get to this grub boot screen here for Clonezilla, just select the first option, push enter on the keyboard. As it continues to boot, you'll see some messages on the screen. There may be a couple error messages. That's not a problem, just let it keep going. And the part clone utility will then verify the image to make sure that it's intact before it writes anything. This will take a couple minutes here. Once it's done verifying the image, it's then going to prompt you, do you want to actually write to disk? And so you'll need to answer yes to the two prompts here. The next stage, it's going to actually take the image and write it to the hard drive. So this will take, again, quite a few minutes to process. Once everything is done, it'll clean things up and you will then get a screen to power off the unit. Choose the power off option. Once it's powered off, you can unplug your USB drives and then boot it up normally. To learn more about this and other exciting Hanwha products, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at hanwhasecurity.com.